Growing the rare Richmond birdwing vine helps to rescue it and the vulnerable Richmond birdwing butterfly too. Two thirds of the vine's range has been lost to land clearing for pasture, farms and development which makes the Richmond birdwing butterfly vulnerable too because its caterpillars entirely depend on the leaves of the Richmond birdwing vine for their food. This is the lowland species of the Richmond birdwing vine. Pararistolochia prevenosa. We planted it in our garden to help the Richmond birdwing butterfly. Female birdwing butterflies are attracted to the vine because they lay their eggs under a suitable leaf. Once the eggs hatch, a caterpillar's first meal is its eggshell. But after that, these caterpillars must rely on the leaves of the vine for their food. The larval or caterpillar stage lasts about six weeks and changes through five to six instars. Caterpillars grow and shed their skin, changing their appearance each time this happens. This is the final instar. Cocooned by the birdwing vine's leaves, the caterpillar is hidden in amongst its food supply. We were fortunate enough to find two caterpillars on our birdwing vine. Four days after discovering them, they both went to pupate, which takes about 25 to 40 days. And nine days after the caterpillars left, we saw this butterfly resting on an agave leaf right beside our birdwing vine. Remember to subscribe and if you liked this video, give it the thumbs up.